everybody, and this is Hollow ID Tech with the new Hollow ID Tech tutorial on how to get Mac and Windows Vista on your PSP. Now, I have a PSP Go here. New Hello. PSP Go. It's pretty cool. And, uh, whoops. Just go back into USB mode. Just, it's almost dead. So, today I'm going to show you how to put Mac and Windows Vista on your PSP. First thing you gotta do, go to your internet browser, and... To make this easier, I'm going to put this in the description, and it, this will be easier for you to download too. So first search for X5 Leopard. Oops. And go to the first result, X5 official site. And there should be a download button at the top. Uh, hold on, let me just show you this stuff. Okay, so this is the X5 website. I just have a small window here, and there's a download button at the top. So you click that, and there's going to be two buttons: PSP 1000 series or PSP 2000 series. Now I have a PSP Go, so it doesn't really matter, but I chose the PSP 2000 series because it's the newest one. So I click that, and it's going to ask me, "Would you like to? Do you, you want to open or save this file? So you're going to open, and it's going to open a WinRAR archive. Actually, I'm not going to open it because I have already downloaded it. It's already here. Um, so I'm just going to open that, and uh, we'll just hide this for now. And let's get onto Windows. So now type in PSP WXP in Google. And go to the second result on download.cnet.com and download it. Now once again I'm not going to actually download it because I have it. So it's right here. So I'm just going to double click it. And once again we have it again. So I'll just close it. And uh, away we go. So let me just uh, hide my browser and close that. So now you're going to go into your computer and go to your PSP. And uh, there should be there should you should have a common folder on your PSP inside the PSP folder if you don't make a common folder so let's start with Mac so <coughs> let's go to WinRAR and to the X5 file so what what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag the X5 folder into your common PSP folder but I already did that as it is right here so once you did that you're going to want to put Windows Vista on. So go back to your root folder with book, gold dig, or whatever. Just go to my computer and removable disk. And then there should be a lot of free space here. Don't go into the PSP folder. Now go to WinRAR and get uh, PSP WXP and drag the folder to this part of the PSP root directory right here. But I, once again, I already have it right here so I don't have to. So once you've done that, disconnect your PSP, as I will do right here. So now I will show you what you have to do. So go into your internet browser, and you do not need Wi-Fi to access both of these because they are files on your PSP. So I already have them bookmarked, but I'll give you the links for them. So let's start with X5 Leopard. So here you have simple version of Mac, you know, just running simple little applications. You can check out for yourself. Now the link for this is file. You type this in your address bar. File colon slash 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 PSP slash common slash X5 slash index dot HTML. Once you type that in, click enter or whatever or start and then you should have it should, it should pop up with the thing in the background just press triangle to hide the controls and there you go so there you got Mac on it and um, you can also you can't put if you want to put a custom background you have to edit the 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 background in the X5 Leopard folder that you put on your PSP but I'm not gonna get into that but you can view your own folders on it by going into QuickTime select go to your either picture or PSP photo folder uh, and they already include a picture with you but I'm gonna open my custom one and open and uh, that's just you know a simple little folder 
better picture. Yeah, so, whatever. So that's Mac. So, I'll just connect my PSP again. As you would do if you if you haven't put on XP again. Because I'm actually charging it. I'll just exit USB mode. And, uh, I will go back. Right here. Into my... Whoop. Okay, my webcam's being stupid. Alright. Go back to my internet browser. And I have it bookmarked again. You should bookmark both of these. Now you go to PSP WXP. And it'll open. It's 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 called WXP as Windows XP, but it's actually a version of Windows Vista. And uh, there you have a little version of Vista. And you know you got settings, music, videos, applications, whatever. Um, but I'm not going to get into that because, you know, yeah. So, just got a simple little mini, <coughs> mini thing, Windows. So, but every time you reload Mac or this, uh, it always erases what you've done previously because it's not like an actual emulator. But, yeah. So, that's Windows Vista and Mac on the PSP. And once again, oh, if you want to access Windows, you type file slash Hold on. Just, uh, just get the camera over here uh, I can't focus the camera you type file colon slash PSP WXP slash index dot htm not HTML, HTM. I will put all these links for the downloads and the internet links in the YouTube description. So, thank you for watching this Holloway Tech tutorial. And once again, visit hollowbodytech.tk, as you can see right there. I will put that in the description too. So, thanks for watching and enjoy. Thank you.